In this video, we'll do a simple compare review between the Forerunner 10 and the Forerunner 610. First thing we'll take a look at is the size. You can see that in terms of thickness, it's kind of similar, but uh, the 10 obviously is the smaller face to it. Now, one thing that I didn't note that when I picked up the watch is that the Forerunner 10, if you get the black model, it has a larger face to it in a larger wristband. The green and white and pink and white are really marketed for uh, the female audience and therefore a little bit smaller. So if you want to take a note of that. But after using this for a little while, uh, actually I don't mind the smaller size to be quite honest with you because it is very light. It's much more portable as an everyday watch than the 610. 610 still has this bulk which is right here for the antenna that is a problem. Here, you don't have that problem. It's, it's really nice and light, and I actually kind of like it. Let's take a look at the, the startup screens, and see how quick they turn on. And both are fairly easy. The Forerunner 10 has the, the simplicity factor to it. Now, in terms of battery life, uh, we found that the 10 will go a little longer than the 610. At the end of the day, you still have to do a weekly habit of charging up your watch. So if I don't do think you're gonna get that much more battery life out of it. If you are just using it as a watch, definitely the 10 will last a lot longer. Uh, the specs say that it will go for five weeks. So accuracy, so we did a number of runs uh, with uh, the watches. I had the 610 on my left arm, had the 10 on my right arm, and we did basically a number of runs throughout uh, the week. And overall, kind of happy with the accuracy. Uh, the 10 was really between 10, 20 meters less than what the 610 was reporting, and the pace was a little bit more different and stuff. But for overall, you know, knowing the distance and getting your general pace, uh, it did a fairly good job. Way uh, sound like acquisition when we're starting the activity is about the same. And I would say that it's uh, maybe a little bit better than the 610 in certain situations. Now the display. Let's, let's actually start work out here just to show you what this looks like. So the 10 has limited data fields. You only have time, distance, and really calories and pace. So you really don't have that much options to it. So when you're running, you basically see this page here, time and distance all the time. Compared to the 610, where you can customize your data fields. You can have two fields, three fields, one field if you wanted to, you have your heart rate. So you know you have a lot more data to it. And you probably notice too that the backlight is fairly strong compared to the 10 not quite as bright as the 610. And you also have no options to adjust the backlight. Compared to the 610, you can adjust it in different ways. Let's get to the functions. The Forerunner 10 is really for people who do 10 in one interval training and don't know or don't care about any other features of the watch, including the backlight. You have the 305 and you're looking to upgrade, get this one. If you're doing anything more than you know, 10K and you really want to track your workouts, you really want to do heart rate training, pace zones, uh, you know, more advanced uh, type of uh, workouts, 610 is definitely the best. Bet. You can't do heart rate training with the 10. However, you do have virtual pacer, auto lap, auto pause, which again, for for most runners, this level will do the trick. And also, this includes personal records. So every time that you do a run and add it to your history, it will figure out, just like when you plug into Garmin Connect, what's your, your records. So if you have your fastest 1K, fastest mile, fastest 5K, 10K, half, full, longest run, all this these personal records, it will store this. So it's kind of neat, actually, to look up your times. You don't have this on the 610 or, or until the firmware allows it. However, the downside is you get a lot of history stored on your 610. 
you don't have that flexibility with the 10. You can only store, it says, seven activities. So every week you gotta plug it in and upload it to Garmin Connect if you wanna save your history, if you're the type that wanna track it. So if you have either the 4Runner 10 or the 610, please put your comments below, your opinions, features, questions, and we'll see you next time. So for example, here, here we're in position A, and we're just gonna scroll somewhere on the map and choose another point. We hit enter, and then we have our go, and then we can add.